That's hey. All the cats <laughs> no, they're not. So here we go. This is a new lesson for you today. So welcome back. This is the chord chord product theorem. You can see there it says intersecting chords. So you look at the two chords in the middle of the circle, they are intersecting. Now, what do we have over here? We have A, B. Well, if you look at the line, a, or the chord A, B, it is made up of A, E plus E, B. You see that? It's like two parts that make the whole thing, right? And we can say something similar for C, D. We can say that C, E plus E, D will give us the whole thing of C, D, right? So being able to recognize those small parts are going to help us identify what the actual rule is. The chord chord product rule looks like this. Right there. So this is that AE times EB equals CE times ED. Well, it's just like what we talked about before. Yeah, make sure you recognize that's multiplication. That the two parts multiplied by each other are going to equal the two parts multiplied by each other from the other chord. That's all that really means. You probably want to see this in action, right? Well, don't worry about it because we're going to show you a few example problems. That's just the same thing, segments, pieces. All right, so let's look at the next problems. So here we go. Applying the chord chord product theorem, we're going to find the value of x and the length of each chord, so two pieces. First, let's find the value of x. So if we look at our picture here, it looks like we have chord FE and chord GH. There's FE right there, and here is GH. So the chord chord product theorem says that the two pieces multiplied by each other will equal the two pieces multiplied by each other of the other chord. Let's see what that looks like. It means that FJ times JE is going to equal GJ do that in a different color for you, gj times jh. Because you can see that fj and je make up the line, or the chord fe, and then gj and jh make up the chord gh. So now let's just plug in the pieces. fj is 7, je is 10, gj is 14, and jh is our x. And so now it's just like an algebraic problem. So we have 7 times 10, which is 70, equals 14x. And so now we know to get the x by itself, we divide by 14 on both sides. And we end up getting 28, 56, oh, 70, what anything. is that, 5? Damn right it's 5. <laughs> x equals 5. Seek, are we done? Oh, no. No, because the second part was find the length of each chord. Now, how do we find the length of the chords? Well, we know that we add the two pieces together, it makes a whole. So, we know that FJ is 7, which we already marked, and JE is 10. So, what's 7 plus 10? Oh, oh okay. I'll, put, I'll mark it here. Yeah, so, there we go. So, FJ is 7 mm -hmm. plus 10, so that gives us 17. 17. 17. And 17 is the length of FE. Important to recognize the length of FE. Now, what about the second chord? Well, we know that GJ is 14, and JH we just found is 5. So 14 plus 5 is 19. And that's the length of the whole chord, GH. Perfect. Nice job, Siegel. Good work. Thanks. All right. So just remember, you're just going to, with these problems, you'll use the multiplication, the chord chord product theorem, and you'll end up adding them. So let's look at another one. Very, very similar. So this one, you should probably pause the video now and try it on your own. But if you're not feeling up to it yet, we're going to go through this one the same way. Find the value of x and the length of each chord. So once again, you look off to the right, you see e, AE times EB equals CE times CD. So we're going to use that same thing. So AE is 6. Oh. You can do that way. AE oh, equals 6. No, mm -hmm. well, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do it. <laughs> we're going to rewind. This one yep. is 6. 6. And we know it has to be multiplied by EB, which is 5. That's over here. So, okay. And we have to set that equal to, and now CE is our X times our ED, which is 8. And this one's a lot easier than the one before. 6 times 5 is 30. 
and that's equal to 8x. And now this one doesn't come out as clean, but we're going to be okay. Because what's 30 divided by 8? That's what? It's 0 0.75, 2, 3.75? Is that what it is? 3.75? Is that what it is? Because 6 a is 3 fourths? Is that? Is it 3.75? I don't know. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold I'm on. Doing, I'm doing it in my head, too. Hold on. No, no. You're, no, keep it going. You're, yeah, you're, you're right. Is it 3.75? That's yeah. what I thought it was. Check that at home, kids, just in case. I think it's 3.75. I feel pretty confident about it. Okay, fractions are okay. Everyone calm down. Yep, we're okay. Fractions are okay. Nothing to panic about. And now we have to find the length of each chord. Same idea. So we use AE plus EB, which is 6 plus 5, gives us 11. That's the length of the whole chord, AB. And then for the second one, we do CE, which is X, but we know that actually equals... 3.75 plus ED, which is 8, and we will get 11.75. Yeah, Siegel made a mistake and wrote 0.74 on that one. We'll let him slide, though. It's fine. Oh, he caught himself. It's good. So that's the length of CD. Remember, if you get decimals, fractions, it's okay. Don't panic. Very similar process. Hope you got it. Move on to the next one. Last problem? Last problem. All right. Here's the doozy. Just kidding. Not hard at all. You guys are going to do great on this one. So same idea. I know it's not labeled. You can go ahead and label it if you want to, or you can just remember that the two pieces of the chord multiplied by each other equal the two pieces of the other chord multiplied by each other. So we have, as Siegel beautifully labeled, oh, did it double time. That's awesome. We have x times 4 equals 8 times 5. And so we can write this a little neater. It'll be 4x equals 40. And so finally, this is an easy one for us. x is going to equal 10. And Siegel, are we done now with this problem? Um, no. Am I right? No, you're wrong. Because all it says is determine the value of x. Oh, so don't do, <laughs> don't do too much work. Make sure you read the question. Don't be like me. All right, don't make the mistake that Siegel did. And we, that. We, no, we lied. There's one more. Is there one There's more? One more. Oh. One more. We're going down. We lied to them. Ooh, Ooh here we go. There it is. Challenge question. Here we go. What's up? <clears throat> but you guys got this. We're going to do great. You ready for this? So identify your two pieces of the chord, which is Siegel's labeling beautifully. Let's look at the other chord. See, 4x is one piece, 9 is the other. So remember, we multiply them and set them equal to each other. So we have 4x plus 2 times 8 equals 9 times 4x. I want to note, you got to look at what Siegel did there, putting those in parentheses. It's a good practice that we don't forget which ones are grouped together because order of operations. So remember, with this 8, we have to distribute it through. We we'll have to multiply it by both pieces. So 8 times 4x gives us 32x. 8 times 2 gives us 16. And on the other side, we have 9 times 4x, which is just 36x. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, this is what I feel like. Why don't we just do 9 times, why isn't it like this? 9 times 4 and 9 times x. That's a great question because the 4x is like one unit, if you think of it that way. If you look over to the left at the 4x plus 2, there's an addition sign in there. So they're connected by addition. So you have to distribute with addition and subtraction. With multiplication, however, because they're connected by that, you can just multiply straight through. Oh, so this makes all the difference. The addition and the subtraction signs make all the difference. Well done, Siegel. Okay. So now we have to combine like terms. And our like terms are 32x and 36x. So let's move the smaller one over. So let's subtract 32x from both sides. And that'll leave us with... Boom, boom, that goes Cross away. that. Beautiful. 16 equals 4x. And there's an easy one for us. We divide by 4 on both sides. And Siegel is going to write our answer as x equals 4. Are we done? No, because no, we read the question. It said find the length of each chord. 
But you've already done the hard part. Now it's the easy part. All you gotta do is plug in the four for X in each piece. So here we go. We have, go ahead. Done? We've, we've done 10 minutes. Okay. You just plug it in. Let's just plug it in. Just plug it in, guys. Yep. You got it? Figure it out, check with Siegel and I, and we hope that you destroy chord times chord.